All right, hi guys. Um, as you can see, I've gone ahead and separated up my vowel. Um, I had three clumps of it before, but I decided to split them um, into two stems per little bunch, like two um, set roots. Um, so I think, hopefully, they'll probably grow better this way. Um, I've someone told me I think that um, Val likes to grow more separated than in bunches, so they get more nutrients and stuff like that. So hopefully that's the case, and I'm hoping I've um, rooted them correctly. I'm not sure if they're meant to come. The stem is meant to come out of the gravel a bit more. So if anyone knows, please let me know, and I'll do that. Um, so yeah, I've gone ahead and placed some at the back too, right at the back there. They're getting a bit of flow from the filter, but not too much, so that's not too bad. Um, and yeah, it's looking pretty good. That's what the whole tank looks like right now. Just come from this side. So yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Hopefully this actually grows. I've only got 15 watts of light. I'm planning on upgrading to um, a system I found, which was two times 24 watt um, globes, not globes, bulbs, not bulbs, oh my goodness, um, tubes. So, and that one sits like right on top of the, um, of the tank and you just clip both sides in and yeah, cause I'm not really, I mean, I like the hood, but, um, you can't actually, uh, modify it in any way to get more, um, tubes in it. You only have one, so it's either one strong one or two sort of medium type ones. But yeah, other than that, i uh, still got three danios swimming around. Uh, I've got a couple of male guppies, not too many, because as you know, um, most of them died during that random phase of I don't know what. I think it could have been due to the softener. Uh, I've still got my original male, that's the one right here, um, a little smaller one behind him, that was one of my first fry. There's a female here, where did she go? They're all, that one right there I think might be pregnant. Um, it's a bit hard to tell, but she looks chubbier than all the rest, so I'm hoping that's the case. And I'm hoping it's with this guy, the yellow and black one that I got recently, because that would make some really nice fry. So I've got another male right there. Um, there's my, actually that's the pregnant female, sorry, I reckon she's pregnant, although I did just feed them, so that could be to do with the food, but she's looking pretty chubby. So, um, yeah, I've still got my one Siamese algae eater. I do not know what happened to the rest of them. I did have one that jumped out while I was cleaning the tank, and I only realised about half an hour later, so that didn't work out too well, but, um, I don't know what happened to my... Chinese algae eaters, they completely disappeared, as well as one of my plecos. I still have the other one. If I can find him, he's right at the back there, I think. Under the filter. If I can get him, he's always under there. He's either under there or in the ship ornament. He actually loves it. He's always in there. Um, but anyway, apart from that, that's pretty much all that's happening right now. So I've separated my vowel. Um, it's pretty short, which is good, I guess, because it doesn't really reach the top of the tank, so the fish have sort of some more swimming room. Um, but when it does grow, I'm hoping it grows all the way up and sort of curves over. That looks that would look really nice. But, yeah, anyway, apart from that, let me know if I've planted these correctly, if they should be up out of the gravel a bit more, um, or anything else. Um, and, yeah, just let me know what you think. All right, thanks for watching, guys.